eBay has been an online marketplace for hearing aids for years, but if you're not careful, you can accidentally buy counterfeit hearing aids or hearing aids that will not actually work for you. So in this video, you and I are going to take a look at what's available on eBay so I can show you what to look out for. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. eBay is a massive online marketplace for new and used hearing aids that you can buy in an auction style format or in a buy it now format. The problem is, is that not everything on eBay is actually what it seems. So I want to go ahead and take a look at eBay, do a search for hearing aids and see what we find. So let's take a look. All right, so let's go ahead and do some searching here for just hearing aids. So we're here on eBay looking for hearing aids and first thing that we see pops up is actually not a hearing aid at all. It's actually a personal sound amplifier. So one of the ways that they convince you to buy one of these sound amplifiers is to actually list them under hearing aids, even though they are not a hearing aid. So these are not customizable in any way. They essentially just amplify all sound, including background noise uh, or what have you. Uh, you have to be very careful. In fact, this is one of the really good things about the recent passage of over-the-counter hearing aid act what will likely happen is it will prevent these types of products from being able to be marketed as hearing aids so hopefully they clamp down on the regulation for that so you as consumers really know what you're getting yourself into when you buy a product like that so let's go back to the search here and just kind of run down a bunch of sponsored ads here so we have some invisible hearing aids here again these right here are not hearing aids they are sound amplifiers so again you have to kind of watch yourself with those uh, this is interesting here let's click on this one these are actually custom devices here so someone at some point had these devices custom molded for their ears and uh, let's see what kind they are they're the v90 so they're a little bit older of generation but the starting bid is at fifty dollars and they are used of course and it looks like here that they are actually broken so the the right one is actually missing the volume control so one of the things that you would have to do is actually get this recased so before buying any kind of hearing aids like this on eBay that has a bunch of different accessories and batteries and things like that, is that you would have to make sure that you could find a hearing care professional that could actually remold your ears and send them off with those hearing aids to get them recased. So there is a chance that those devices could work for you but you have to make sure that you can find someone who is willing to actually go through that process with you with these used hearing aids. On the other side of that is that even if these are under warranty, that warranty does not transfer over to you. So regardless of what they say, anytime you buy hearing aids online, you are not getting a warranty with that. I don't care if they say they come with a 10-year warranty. They do not come with a warranty. As soon as you buy hearing aids from someone, it is considered a gray market item and and all manufacturers do not honor those warranties. So even if there was some remaining warranty, those when they get sent in with a new name, they will not repair those for free. They will not reshell those for free. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm not saying you can't buy these online, but if you do, you have to be aware that there are going to be substantial expenses to actually get those to work for you. All right, so let's go back. Let's scroll down a little bit more and okay so we have a couple brand new Phonak Bolero 70 hearing aids. Uh, these are from Cyprus so sometimes when you buy products from overseas they are kind of skirting around the laws that we have here in the United States but nonetheless if you're buying it here in the United States going this route is not recommended and oftentimes these devices can be counterfeit as well and so it says here this is a perfect example it says that with two years factory warranty and free programming well that's great but as soon as you buy these online and you want to get them serviced or programmed you're gonna to have to take them into a local facility if you want to get them custom programmed uh, anytime someone says that they will give you 
programming and you're buying them online, unless you are going into them, it is not custom programming. It's just them making certain adjustments to the hearing aids, which may or may not actually help you hear better. All right, so let's go back and continue on through the search. Some more personal sound amplifiers that are being uh, that are being marketed as hearing aids. Same thing here, same thing here. And okay, so here is a really interesting one. Let's click on this. This is says this one says 2017 new Siemens Touching Update Fast P digital hearing aid. When you see devices like this, and of course they have a nice little American flag icon here on the photo, but when you start actually looking through these different devices, when you see imagery like this on these products, and anytime that you see, you know, name brand stuff on eBay, you need to watch out because this right here is likely a counterfeit product. So when you buy counterfeit products, they are generally purchased from overseas, whether it's China or wherever, wherever it's actually doing these counterfeit manufacturing. Uh, they have been shipped into, in this case, San Diego, California, and they are for resale. So now there are some cases where hearing aids that you do buy are actually legit from that manufacturer, but I've seen this a bunch of times. These products are likely counterfeit. And so you're not actually getting the same type of technology. They're just utilizing the name brand recognition of Siemens. And of course, they are an extremely low price. This is a buy it now price. Anytime that should trigger a red flag as well. Anytime that you see a hearing aid for you know under $80, that is likely a counterfeit or it is not a hearing aid at all. It's just a sound amplifier. So. One thing I want to show you here, if we go to Alibaba.com and see if we can find the touching. And so just a general what I'm doing here, Alibaba.com is where you can buy different products, whether they're private labeled or whatever, from overseas. And typically China is what people think about. And so they have these devices that have the name brand of, in this case, Siemens. And they even do things like FDA. They write a bunch of different keywords in here to make you think that it's legit. But this right here is not an actual Siemens hearing aid. Siemens does not allow you to buy devices direct on Alibaba.com from Delhi, India. Okay, so you need to watch out if you start seeing products like this and it has Siemens written right on it. They look a lot like Siemens devices and to the untrained eye, you wouldn't be able to tell a difference. But then you go ahead and you order this product and you get it and you try taking it into a hearing care professional to get it adjusted. And they're like, well, this is not a Siemens hearing aid because it will not connect with our software. So you really need to watch out for it. So I'm actually looking for the Siemens touching device that we just saw. There we go. So this is basically the hearing aid that is on eBay. Oh, would you look at that? Basically the exact same device and this device is a counterfeit device. Okay, so these are just things that you need to be aware of. Now, when they look at when you look at pricing, right? Depending on how many pieces that particular individual on eBay is purchasing from overseas, they can purchase them for as low as a dollar to get these devices, and then they go to eBay and they sell them for seventy nine ninety nine, which is a absolutely amazing markup, and in this particular instance, 327 people were ripped off by this. But you're going to also say probably, well, look, I mean, he's got great product ratings. So let's click on that. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> of course, here, this one's a top critical review. And basically, it says not an improvement. Some of these say great amplifier at a great price. Uh, basic sound amplification, but that person was not expecting, 
much. Uh, it would be nice to have instructions in English rather than Chinese. Does the job, little feedback, no filters, only volume control. So these are not very good devices. So if you're considering buying devices like this, they look legit. They look a lot like regular hearing aids, but they are counterfeit devices that just do not produce the same type of experiences as a custom program device that you would get from a legitimate manufacturer that is not counterfeit. Now if you guys have seen my other videos, you know that I am not anti-buying anything online. I think it is your absolute right to be able to buy whatever it is that you want to buy and if you want to buy it online that is absolutely fine. You just have to be aware of what the risks are if you choose to go that route. And so if you're going to buy something online and you feel like it's a legit product, that is totally up to you. But when you get it, you cannot be surprised if you take it into a hearing care clinic to get it custom programmed using real ear verification and wonder why they can't connect to the hearing aid. Because a lot of those hearing aids that you buy online, they're not legit to the point where you can purchase them, take them into a clinic, and get them custom programmed. On the other side of that, when you are buying products on eBay, they don't have your best interests in mind. And what I mean by that is, is they don't care whether or not you receive benefit at all from these products. What they're hoping is that you just actually keep them. Hopefully you bought them at a low enough price that you're like, well, I tried it and I didn't spend that much money for it. So I'm not even going to return it because that is uh, the hassle of doing that is not worth it to me. Um, but what you shouldn't do is assume that just because you purchased a product online and you gave it a good shot and you didn't receive benefit from something that was purchased online that you should completely write off hearing treatment. That is the exact opposite of what you should do. If you buy a product online and you determine that you are not getting significant benefit from it and you do in fact have a hearing loss, you should absolutely go in and at least hear what your options are in terms of getting your hearing loss treated appropriately. Okay, So do not lose hope if you've purchased something online and you didn't get benefit. It happens to a lot of people who buy stuff online, uh, particularly in the realm of hearing aids when things cannot be custom programmed to your hearing loss prescription. There you go guys. Hopefully this has opened your eyes as to what actually is available on eBay and what things you really need to look out for when considering purchasing something from eBay, particularly a medical device like a hearing aid. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.